you're all doing really well. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I got from Sephora. I purchased a couple things because they were having the Beauty Insider sale, so I did have a 15% off coupon. And because what it was my birthday month, my best friend actually gifted me with a gift card from Sephora. So I thought it would be perfect because I did have a couple of high-end products on my wish list and they're pretty expensive so it's not something I can just buy without you know thinking. But I'm going to be showing you what I got. I'm super excited about the things I got. I used every single thing that I purchased from this haul today to do my makeup. So I will insert clips of me using the product so you can see um, how they look, how you, I apply them. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. I don't wanna make this too long. So first I'm gonna start off with the most predictable purchase, which is the Naked 3 palette. I thought about purchasing this for so long. I went on and off about whether I wanted it or I didn't. I have the Naked 2 and I love it. Ever since I purchased that palette, I don't use anything else. I ended up buying another palette by, um, I don't even remember her name, but I did a video on it and I ended up giving it to my mom because it was so similar to the Naked 2 and I love the Naked 2 so I was like, what's the point of having just two palettes? And yeah, so I use my Naked 2 so much on a daily basis it's so versatile and i you know i just love it i love the quality and everyone was raving about this one now i wasn't as sure because even though the colors seem so beautiful and like when you look at them they're very they're all like pink and like very um i don't know like they have those plum tones i just didn't know how it was going to look or if I was going to get tired of always wearing those colors. But I have to say, I did my makeup today using this. Um, that's what I have on. And when you apply it, they don't look as pink. They, they're pink, but they're neutral, if that makes sense. And I just love it. I think these are actually more pigmented than the Naked 2 ones. Um, they're very buttery. I just love the consistency. But I'm sure you've seen the palette already. There's like tons and tons of videos on YouTube, but just in case this is what it looks like, I love it. The ones I used today were this one, this one, and this one, which is Liar, Factory, and Mugshot. I love these lighter shades. I love these. Today, you know, again, I use the darker ones, and I feel like it still looks pretty neutral, uh, pretty wearable for a day-to-day -day basis, um, and I just love how buttery and creamy they feel. And yeah, a little bit goes a long way. I feel like these are a lot more pigmented than the Naked 2 ones. So I'm not sure if they changed the formulation. I don't know. But um, the Naked palette is getting a lot more expensive. Um, I remember when I first when they first came out, it was like $50. Then it went up to $52, and this one was $54. But with the Beauty Insider coupon, you were allowed to use a 15% off, which usually... Um, these types of brands are excluded from all the coupons from Ulta and Sephora, but when the Beauty Insider event comes around, there's like pretty much no exclusion, so that's pretty exciting. So if you are like looking for, um, like to buy high-end makeup, wait around for that time of the year. So I'm really happy with it. I think the packaging is probably my most favorite out of the three. I don't like the packaging of the Naked One. Um, Naked 2, it's, I mean, it's completely fine, but I think this one's extra pretty. The only thing I don't like is how, like, the noise it makes when it shuts. I don't know, like, I feel like the Benefit ones are better made in that sense. They're, like, silent, and they, like, I don't know. I feel like these could stop working very easily, even though I've never had any issues with my Naked 2. But I'm super excited about it. Oh, and actually, they sent inside the Naked palette, um, they sent four samples of the uh, primer potion, I believe, yes, and uh, one in the original shade and then three other shades. There's an anti-aging one, so I haven't opened it, but they come in here and it says each sample pod holds about a week worth of primer. So there's four primers, so that's pretty cool. So, so next up, this is super affordable, not that exciting, but I have a pencil sharpener and you guys might be thinking like, 
why did you wait for the sale to buy a sharpener? I really didn't, I just needed one. So I needed a pencil sharpener that had both sizes. This one on the side is the regular one and then this one is for the wider crayons or pencils. And then you just take it apart and um, just get rid of the, you know, what's left behind when you sharpen your pencils. And it was super affordable and I even got 15% off. Um, yeah, this was actually the most affordable one out of all the brands that I saw on the website. So I think it should work, you know, it's not like really rocket science, it's just a pencil sharpener, but I did need that. Now on to more exciting things. I've been wanting to try this for such a long time and it's the Hourglass Brow Sculpting Pencil. Uh, or crayon. So Hourglass tries to use, you know, very minimal chemical products. So they're very careful and selective with the ingredients they use. And this is pretty much um, a dual side. So it has uh, like the spoolie on like the brush to comb out all your eyebrow hairs. Uh, and then it has um, the color on the other side. So I'll just show you. This is what it looks on one side uh, with the brush. And then on this side, uh, what's really cool about it, and I got this in the color blonde, um, they have, I believe, three shades, like blonde, uh, brown hair, and darker hair, I'm not sure, but this one's blonde, but I still feel like it's not too light, so if you have light brown, it would probably work, and it has a very interesting shape, it comes off in a triangle, which is very handy, like, to define your eyebrows, like, to, like, create that shape, so what makes this eyebrow product so good is the fact that it's not a pencil that you just use to fill in and it's not a wax. It's like two in one. So they really mix up a formula that is powder with wax so that when you apply strokes of the color onto your eyebrows, it kind of fills them in, but they look very similar to just like little hairs. So it's like you're drawing on little hairs. And then because it has that wax in the product, it holds on um, all day. Last but not least, and I'm so excited about this. Now, I warn you, this is a very expensive product, but it's been on my wish list for a very long time. I hear so many people talking about this on YouTube and blogs, and it's the um, Christian Dior Rosy Glow Blush, and it comes in a package like this. It comes with instructions. They all come on um, Dior blushes all come with this pouch, which you can then use to like, I don't know, store away jewelry or something. Again, I used this blush today so you can see me applying it and how it looks. And this is what it looks like. I don't know how it's coming off on camera, but it's a super pretty pink. But when you look at it, it kind of scares you off because it is very bright and you might think like this is way too bright for my cheeks. But what makes this blush so cool is that it has like a chemical formulation that it's supposed to kind of like adjust to your natural chemistry. Okay, so it says that it intuitively adjusts to the moisture of each skin and it just makes the skin um, and your cheeks just glow very lightly and just make you look very awake and healthy. So. It's kind of one of those blushes that no matter who buys it, it's never gonna look the same because we all have different chemistry and different skin. So it's gonna look like this on my skin, but it will look different on your skin because we all have different chemistry and different skin types. So I'm super excited, it's super pretty. Now I still don't get why they send the brush with it. I don't think any of us really use this anymore. Um, I don't, I have my own blush brush and I would rather then either make it smaller, like half the size, or just give you more product and not waste money on the brush because I don't like applying it with it. Now I may keep it here because if I take this on vacation, who knows if it comes in handy, but I really don't think so because if I take my makeup, I'm taking my makeup brushes. So it does have the mirror, which is super cool because that's what I kind of miss sometimes on high-end makeup, like MAC doesn't have a mirror and you know, that's kind of pointless. I feel like if you're paying so much for a makeup product, it should have a mirror. Okay guys, so that was it for my Sephora haul. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. 
Comment down below and let me know if you've tried any of these products or if you're thinking about purchasing any of these products. Just leave me your feedback in general. Leave me your video requests. They are really, really helpful and they mean a lot to me. I love reading your requests. I love reading your feedback. So it means a lot to me. So comment down below, leave me your ideas, and yeah. And if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more of my weekly videos. And yeah, I really appreciate it, and I can't wait to see you next. So thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.